Here we go on a quick discussion of how to graph inequalities involving two variables. Notice that now we have x and y, we have two variables, and now we're graphing on the xy coordinate plane and not just a straight one-dimensional number line. You'll notice that this looks very, very similar to our solving equations. The only difference is instead of an equal sign, we now have an inequality, in this case, greater than or equal. First of all, we will plot this on the xy coordinate plane, and you'll notice that we'll still use our favorite things here. The y-intercept is uh, 1, and the slope is 3, which is the same as 3 over 1. Here we go. On the graph, you can see right there, our y-intercept is 1, and our slope is up 3 over 1. The line is drawn. It's a solid line because it is greater than or equal to. Now, what you see on your screen, that's the graph of y equals 3x plus 1, but I want greater than or equal. To show the greater than part, I must shade all the y values greater than the line. Greater than means more, so it's all the y values above the line. So the fact that the line is solid is the equal to part. The greater than part is all the values of y that are above or greater than the line. Okay, moving right along, let's try another one. How about x is less than negative 4? Remember, x equals lines are vertical. So since x is fixed at negative 4, I move over along the x-axis. On the x-axis, I go to negative 4, and I draw my vertical line. Notice this one is dashed and not solid. It's dashed because there is no equal to part, strictly less than. So now think about it. Which values are less than negative 4? Well, less than's to the left, so all the values that make this true go to the left of the line. Those indicate all the x values less than negative 4. Make any sense? Finally, we'll look at 3x minus 8y is less than 16. Again, just pretend that it were an equation and solve for y. In order to get y by itself, we need to get rid of 3x. So here we go. Subtract 3x on both sides. Now we're left with negative 8y is less than negative 3x plus 16. How do you get y by itself? Undo multiplying by negative 8. The opposite of multiplying by negative 8 is divide by negative 8. Do that to everything on both sides. And then we get the following. y is greater than, notice we switch from less than to greater than because we divided by a negative. The inequality switches direction. And we have 3 eighths x minus 2. What does this mean to us? Well, the y-intercept is negative 2 and the slope is 3 over 8. Taking a look at the graph, there is our intercept at negative 2, and then I apply the slope of up 3 over 8. Notice the line is broken and not solid because there was no equal to part, just greater than. And now I have to shade in all the values that are greater than 3 eighths x minus 2. Since this is a y is greater than, all the y values must be greater than the line. Where are the y values greater than? Well, greater than is more, so it's all the values above or higher than the line. All of these values are greater than y, so I shade them in. Hopefully this little uh, one minute, or actually, excuse me, four minute instructional video will be helpful, and there will be more to come in class. Thank you.